everybody, uh, this is Sakina. Welcome to my first YouTube video on my YouTube channel. If you're following me on Instagram, um, you might know me from Sakina and Isha. Thank you for coming here and checking out what I am about to talk about today. And it's actually on the Smashbox Camera Ready BB Cream in Dart. I have been using this for about two weeks already and I absolutely love it. I spend a lot of my time outdoors in the summer and so I need something that's lightweight and very protective. Uh, this has SPF 35 in it which is awesome because the higher the SPF the better. So, so far what I love about this BB Cream is that it's um, lightweight protective. Um, if you might need like a bit more coverage, you can build on it, but I prefer to use the um, concealer um, by Smashbox. It's a Studio Skin 24 hour uh, waterproof concealer. Um, but it says here that it is to prime, perfect, protect, hydrate, and control oil in one step to create a flawless, a flawless base in a flash. Wear alone or under foundation for my coverage. Two weeks in, I pretty much love it. I have no complaints about it. I do have oily combination skin, so I'm oily in the T zones, but I'm dry. Well, I'm pretty much normal everywhere else, but I do tend to get dry on the outer edges as well. Actually, this BB cream, it doesn't break me out. Um, it doesn't smear, it doesn't smudge. It pretty much stays in place and it lasts the entire day. And I can just tell you from personal experience, just based off of using it using it for two weeks and being outdoors for very, very long periods of time. Initially, when you do put it on, it does come a bit light, but as you work it in and blend it in, it kind of just melts right into your skin. Um, it just blends perfectly. Um, it says dark, but I'm not, well, I'm pretty sure that it's not fit for all dark shades. Um, I just kind of got lucky with this one all the time. It's just a great product, and um, I'm so glad that I found it and I wore it a bunch of times to really get feel for it. I wasn't disappointed at all. Um, so yeah, keep watching. I'm going to demo this out and show you how I got this look. And thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you. Alright, so let's get started. First, I'm grabbing my Makeup Forever Step 1 Primer in Caramel. I just love how this primer warms me up and just evens out my skin tone. Okay. Tell me who you're loyal to. Now I'm going in with fame, my NYX primer. This is in the Shine Killer. The I'm just going to apply this to my T zone and just keep me under control to. as the day goes on. For the streets when the lights get dark, is it unconditional when the robbery don't start? Baby, tell me when your loyalty is coming from the heart. Yeah, now I'm working with my BB cream. As you can see, I'm just dotting it on my face. And then I'm going to grab my Beauty Blender in a bit and just blend that in all together. Is it anybody you would laugh for? Anybody you would slide for? Anybody you would die for? That's what God's for. But listen, seeing you got ritualistic. I did notice, however, while applying it this way, um, that it was getting a bit blotchy. Um, so I decided to really go in with a foundation brush and just cover up any spots that were just uneven. It wasn't because of the product itself, it was just because of my application. I'm just gonna blend it in some more. You got issues that I won't mention for now, cause we're falling apart. Okay, now I'm grabbing my Smashbox Studio Skin 24 Hour Waterproof Concealer in the color Dark. Um, I seriously just love this stuff. Um, it really is waterproof. It doesn't budge. It stays in place all day. I absolutely love it. Right now, I'm taking my Kim Kardashian West Beauty Dark Highlight Stick. I'm going to apply it mainly just where I need the highlight at. That is under the eyes, down the nose, a little bit on the forehead, pubic bone, and the chin. Really can't find anything to complain about it. Besides the fact that it does dry pretty quickly, so you do have to move quick. As you can see here, I had a hard time using the beauty blender, so I went in with a flat head brush and just put it in some. Okay, now I have my NARS. Um, this is the 
soft velvet loose powder in Mountain. And I'm just gonna take a powder brush and apply this all over my face. And then I'm gonna take a smaller brush and just apply that underneath my eyes just to really set my makeup. Grabbing my contour kit by Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is this one is in medium to tan, um, and I'm using the espresso color just to contour my face. Tell me who you're loyal to. Is it money? Is it fame? Is it weed? Is it drink? Is it coming down with the loud pipes and the rain? Big chilling only for the power in your name, baby. Tell me who you're loyal to. Is it love for the streets when the lights get dark? Is it and I'm going to take no my stop, Mineralized Skin Finish by MAC in Dark Deepest yeah, and I'm going to use that just to contour my face a bit more. Um, I just like a very warm contour. I say, tell me who you're loyal to. Is it anybody you would laugh for? Anybody you would slide for? Anybody you would die for? That's what God's for. But listen. Okay, now I have my flat head brush. I'm just going to use this to blend in my contour a bit more. Okay, now I have a small pencil brush that I'm going to use to contour my nose. I'm just going to go down the sides of my nose, around the tip a little bit, underneath, and on the smaller sides of my nose. Okay, and I'm going to drag that contour up a little bit more, um, a bit towards my eyebrows and on the creases of my eyelids as well. Now with a simple blush brush, I am taking uh, my MAC blush in Sweetest Cocoa. It's my favorite blush, I've been using it for years. Hold up, hold up. I said I'm geeked and I'm fired up And all I want tonight is to And with another regular blush brush I'm going into my bronzer by Black Radiance and Ginger Snap I'm going over my cheekbones right where I applied that blush at Also going to go down the bridge of my nose Feel something wrong You acting shifty, you don't write with me no more Okay, and with that same brush, I'm going into my BH Cosmetics Wild Beauty Palette and I'm going to go in to a similar color of the um, Ginger Snap, but this one is just a bit more pigmented. And I'm going to apply that right over where I put the Ginger Snap bronzer at. And going back into that same palette with a smaller pencil brush, I'm going to apply the lightest, it's a champagne color um, highlighter, into the corner of my eyelids. Alright, and at this point, I'm taking a random mascara. I believe this one is by Estee Lauder. Um, I so got it as a too. sample is it money, uh, probably is it like fame, a couple is it weeks weed, ago. Is it drink? Is it coming down with the um, and so I am just going to apply it to my lower lashes. I am not doing my top lashes because I have on eyelash extensions. Now I'm taking a makeup wipe. I'm just going to get rid of any um, product that's on my lips. Are you loyal to yourself in advance? I say, tell me who you're loyal to. Um, now I'm taking my cork lip liner, my ultimate favorite, and I'm going to line my lips with that. Now this is my favorite lip combo. Um, I love pairing the Kylie um, Matte Liquid Lipstick. Um, this one is in Love Fight with the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in Athens. And I'm just going to take both shades and just mix them together on the back of my hands. And I'm just going to apply it to my lips with my fingertips. And voila.
got to put highlighter on my chin. I noticed that. Right, and I am going to go back in with the Kim Kardashian West Beauty Dark Highlighting Stick. And I'm using the Shimmery Highlighter. And I'm going to use that right underneath my eyebrows. I'm just going to make sure I have everything is blended in. Okay, last but not least, I'm going in with my Urban Decay All Night Setting Spray. Alright, and that's it everybody. Um, if you really like this video, please click the like button. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave them down in the comment section below. If you want to see more videos from me, please subscribe. I uh, thank you so much for watching everyone. I'll see you next time.